my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bba second semester subject business statistics as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 3 first important short question is What are the objectives of measuring dispersion? Dispersion means the spread or variation of data values. In simple words, it shows how much the data values differ from each other or from the average. Objectives of measuring dispersion: one, to understand consistency. If dispersion is low, data is consistent. If high, it is scattered. Two, to compare data. helps in comparing to or more sets of data 3 to find risk in business more dispersion means more risk 4 to support decisions helps in making decisions based on how much variation exists in data 5 to analyze reliability low dispersion is equal to more reliable data example two students got the same average marks 60 student a's marks 60 60 60 student b's marks 40 60 80 both have the same average but b's marks very more so dispersion helps to see this hidden variation easy tip more variation is equal to more dispersion is equal to less consistency next important short question is 2 what is range Range is the simplest way to measure how spread out or scattered the data is. It shows the difference between the highest and lowest values in a set of data. Formula: Range is equal to highest value, lowest value. Example: Suppose marks of 5 students are 45, 50, 60, 70, 80. Highest is equal to 80. lowest is equal to 45 so range is equal to 80 to 45 is equal to 35 this means the marks are spread across 35 marks why is range important it gives a quick idea about how much variation is there it is easy to calculate and understand useful for small data sets easy trick to remember range is just the gap between top and bottom bigger gap is equal to more spread in data smaller gap is equal to less spread more consistency but remember range only uses to values so it ignores all middle values next important short question is 3 quartile deviation also called semi interquartile range Quartile deviation is a method to measure how data is spread around the middle 50% of a dataset. It tells us how far the middle values are spread from the center. Formula: Quartile deviation is equal to Q3 Q1 2, where Q1 is equal to first quartile 25% value, Q3 is equal to third quartile 75% value. example suppose in a class the marks are such that q1 is equal to 40 q3 is equal to 60 then quartile deviation is equal to 60 to 40 2 is equal to 10 this means the average spread of the middle 50% of the marks is 10 why it's useful it is not affected by extreme values unlike range good for skewed data easy trick to remember middle 50% spread divided by 2 is equal to quartile deviation this method helps students and businesses to know how consistent or scattered the central data is next important short question is for what is mean deviation mean deviation also called average deviation 
Mean deviation is a way to measure how much the values in a data set differ from the average, mean or median. It shows how spread out the data is. Formula Mean deviation is equal to sum of vertical bar deviations vertical bar from mean or median divided by total number of values. We use absolute deviations, ignore minus sign. Example Marks 10, 15, 20. Mean is equal to 10 plus 15 plus 20, 3 is equal to 15. Deviations, vertical bar 10, 15 vertical bar is equal to 5, vertical bar 15, 15 vertical bar is equal to 0, vertical bar 20, 15 vertical bar is equal to 5. Mean deviation is equal to 5 plus 0 plus 5, 3 is equal to 3.33. This tells that the average distance of marks from the mean is 3.33. Why it's useful? Simple to calculate. Shows how consistent or varied the data is. Easy tip to remember. Mean deviation is equal to average of distances from mean. It is widely used in business and economics to study variations in income, sales, or production. Next important short question is. 5. What is standard deviation? Standard deviation is a measure of how spread out or scattered the values in a data set are from the mean, average. Formula for sample SD. SD is equal to XX to N1 where x is equal to each value, x is equal to mean, n is equal to number of values. Simple example. Data 5, 7, 9. Mean is equal to 5 plus 7 plus 9, 3 is equal to 7. Deviations 5 to 7, superscript 2 is equal to 4, 7 to 7, superscript 2 is equal to 0, 9 to 7, Superscript 2 is equal to 4. SD is equal to 4 plus 0 plus 4. 2 is equal to 4 is equal to 2. So, the values differ from the mean by 2 units on average. Why it's useful? Tells how consistent or risky the data is. Very useful in business, finance and research. Easy tip to remember. SD is the root mean square of deviations. When SD is small, data is close to mean. When SD is large, data is spread out widely. Next important short question is. 6. What do you mean by variance? Variance simple explanation. Variance is a number that tells us how much the data values spread out from the average mean. Formula sample variance. Variance S superscript 2 is equal to XX to N1. Where X is equal to each value. X is equal to mean. N is equal to number of values. Example. Let's take marks 10, 20, 30. Mean is equal to 10 plus 20 plus 30. 3 is equal to 20. Deviations 10 to 20. Superscript 2 is equal to 100, 20 to 20, superscript 2 is equal to 0, 30 to 20, superscript 2 is equal to 100. Variance is equal to 100 plus 0 plus 100, 3 to 1 is equal to 200 divided by 2 equals 100. Key points. Variance is the square of standard deviation. It helps in understanding the consistency or variability in data. Easy tip to remember. Variance is equal to average of squared deviations. If variance is small, data is consistent. If variance is large, data values are spread far from the mean. Next important short question is. 7. Briefly explain about coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation, CV. The coefficient of variation, CV, is a number that shows how much the data values vary in relation to the mean. 
it is used to compare the relative variability between different datasets, even if their units or means are different. Formula CV is equal to standard deviation mean times 100. Example Dataset A mean is equal to 50, standard deviation is equal to 5. CV is equal to 550 times 100 is equal to 10%. Dataset B mean is equal to 100, standard deviation is equal to 20. CV is equal to 2100 times 100 is equal to 20%. So, Dataset A is more consistent because it has a lower CV. Easy to remember. CV tells you which data is more stable, lower the CV, more consistent the data. CV is useful in business, economics, and science to compare performance or risk. Next unit 3. Long questions. First important long question is. Compute interquantile range and quartile deviation for the following data. Let's compute the interquartile range, IQR, and quartile deviation, QD, step by step for the given data. We'll use a simple and student friendly method. Given frequency table. Step 1 Find cumulative frequencies, CF. Step 2 Find Q1. First quartile. Q1 is at n slash 4 is equal to 200 divided by 4 equals 50. The 50th item lies in 12 to 16 class. CF just before is equal to 36. F is equal to 55. L is equal to 12. H is equal to 4. Q1 is equal to L plus n4 CF before F times H. Q1 is equal to 12 plus. 50 36, 55 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 14 55 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 1.02 is equal to 13.02. Step 3. Find Q3, third quartile. Q3 is at 3 and 4 is equal to 3 times 200, 4 is equal to 150. The 150th item lies in 16 to 20 class. CF before is equal to 91. F is equal to 62. L is equal to 16. H is equal to 4. Step 4. Interquartile range, IQR. IQR is equal to Q3. Q1 is equal to 19.81 to 13.02 is equal to 6.79. Step 5. Quartile deviation, QD. Q dot D is equal to Q3 Q1 2 is equal to 6 dot 79 2 is equal to 3 dot 395. Final answer. Interquartile range IQR is equal to 6.79. Quartile deviation QD is equal to 3.395. Easy trick to remember. Q1 is equal to 25%. Q3 is equal to 75% find class intervals using cumulative frequency. IQR is equal to Q3, Q1. QD is equal to half of IQR. Next important long question is. To compute mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation from median for the following data. Let's solve mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation from median Step by step in a simple way. Given data. Step 1. Find the median. Median lies at the end slash 2 is equal to 36 halves is equal to 18th term. Now find cumulative frequencies CF. Age FCF. 533. 1047. 15815. 2012 27 median class because 18 lies here. 25 7 34. 32 36. So, median is equal to 20. Step 2 Find x median vertical bar x median vertical bar and f times x median. 
total is equal to 180 vertical bar. Step 3, mean deviation, MD, from median. MD is equal to FX median N. Is equal to 180 slash 36. Is equal to 5. Step 4, coefficient of mean deviation. Coefficient of MD is equal to MD median. Is equal to 520. Is equal to 0 0.25. Final answer. Mean deviation from median is equal to 5. Coefficient of mean deviation is equal to 0 0.25. Easy tip to remember. Find median, middle value. Subtract each value from median, ignore negative sign. Multiply with frequency. Add and divide by total frequency. Next important long question is. 3. Calculate standard deviation and variance for the following data. Let's solve this standard deviation and variance question step by step. Question. We will calculate. Mean. Standard deviation, sigma. Variance, sigma superscript 2. Step 1, make the table. F is equal to 118. Fx is equal to 1000. Fx superscript 2 is equal to 9760. Step 2, calculate mean. X is equal to Fx. F is equal to 1000 slash 1188.47. Step 3, use formula for standard deviation, sigma. Sigma is equal to Fx to Fx2. Sigma is equal to 9760 slash 118, 8.47. 2 is equal to 82.7171.66 is equal to 11.053.32. Step 4. Find variance. Variance is equal to sigma 2 is equal to 3.32. 2 is equal to 11.05. Final answer. Mean is equal to 8.47. Standard deviation is equal to 3.32. Variance is equal to 11.05. Next important long question is. 4. Calculate standard deviation and coefficient of variation from the following data. Step-by-step -step explanation. 1. Find midpoints of each class. Example, for 0 to 10, 0 plus 10, 2 is equal to 5. So, midpoints are. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. 2. Multiply frequency, F, with midpoint, kiss smiley to get F times X. Then add all these to get total, sum, F times X, is equal to 3045. 3. Multiply F with X superscript 2 to get F times X superscript 2. Then add all these to get total, sum, f times x superscript 2, is equal to 1,3875. 4, mean, x, is equal to total, f times x, divided by total frequency. 3,045 divided by 83 is equal to 36.57. 5, standard deviation, sigma, is equal to. Sigma F times X superscript 2 divided by Sigma F mean superscript 2. 1 lakh 3875 divided by 83, 36.57, superscript 2 is equal to 16.24. 6 coefficient of variation, CV, is equal to Sigma divided by mean times 100. 16.24 divided by 36.57 times 100 is equal to 44.42 percent. Final answer. Mean is equal to 36.57. Standard deviation is equal to 16.24. Coefficient of variation is equal to 44.42 percent.